In the last two videos, you saw me turn my racing simulator into an RC controller and give the car some neat functionality like an H pattern shifter and ABS. Now it's time for something a little bit different. You know how they say all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy? Well, I don't know Jack. But the saying holds true for me, too. I come from the generation where a guy tried to develop a weather-changing machine, which in essence was a sophisticated heat beam he called a laser. Turns out if you strap one of these bad boys to something, it instantly makes it a hundred times cooler. Yeah. Figuratively. And other things hotter. Literally. So I got to thinking. The simulator-controlled RC is pretty cool. But let's crank it up a bit. I picked up a laser module, a 3.3 volt relay, and a buck converter from the candy store, and started prototyping the circuit. I didn't want the laser to be on all the time, because that would be irresponsible and dangerous. Rather, I'd like to impart a blast of retina searing radiation at whatever I'm looking at when I press a button instead. Much more responsible, while still remaining at the same danger level. The setup was supposed to be simple. Run the car's battery power to a buck, Buck power goes to the relay, that relay gets triggered by a channel on the receiver, and photons fly. Pew, pew, pew. On my system, channel 5 is an arming channel by default. Due to lack of experience, I assumed this was a high-low situation, and it would send a 5-volt signal to close the relay when the button is pressed. So when I tried my simple setup, I got a whole lot of nothing. What? Out of character, likely because I was so cheesed at the time, I read the manual. Turns out I assumed wrong. Surprise, right? A guy who didn't know what he was doing ended up not knowing what he was doing. But I do now. The answer for me was an Arduino. Of course there's other ways to tackle this, but that's what I have on hand, so that's what I did. I set it up so the receiver now sends the armed PPM signal to the Arduino's pin 9. When it sees it, it sends a new signal on pin 8 that the relay can use to turn on. So now when I do this, it does this. You'll notice the extremely clever mounting scheme for all the electronics. This is a result of many years in the field dedicated to shrink wrapping components to be as tightly packaged as possible. Or it could also be that my Fusion license expired. You be the judge. It's kind of dumb, but I don't really know what to do with this yet. But maybe some sort of Mario Kart-esque power-up while racing, or vehicular laser tag might be fun. The current laser isn't powerful enough to light matches or burn paper, but maybe someday I'll put a diode on it that even Styro Pyro would be proud of. In other news, I think I've got some of the scripts and sketches ready for a release. The link is down in the description for those who want to try setting something like this up. This will be an early alpha type launch, largely untested, full of bugs, and lacking core functionality, but it's a start. Now you guys get to help me learn what I've been doing wrong. A video how-to will come later, but in the meantime, I'll be doing more research to make the transmitter side of things more user-friendly. I'm also pretty deep in the force feedback research. I'm going to try to cover a few different methods to get the effect. Some budget friendly, others not so much. It's looking more and more like the Fnatic system might be a thorn in my side when trying to drive the wheel with raw values, but that's a future Bits Bits problem. I'm getting pretty antsy to take the car outside because I know a lot of you want to see it. As soon as the snow melts, it's hitting the streets. And then after that, who knows? Maybe we'll take to the skies. I'll keep unlocking new features with more sensors and clever code if you guys want me to. In the meantime, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see next. I just want to say thank you to everyone for all the support and awesome ideas. I honestly thought I'd be lucky if the first video got 100 views, so needless to say, my mind is absolutely blown.
Correct.